forum has been functioning fully now for the last five years, but it was many years in the preparation. The challenge of Forum is to ensure that we have enough funds to distribute to the researchers of Europe to ensure we can answer many of the important questions that need to be addressed in a disease as prevalent as the rheumatic and musculoskeletal diseases. One of the unique features of Forum is that we involve everyone in the research projects. People with arthritis are involved at the stage of choosing projects and are involved in the dissemination. Just as in ULA, people with arthritis are an integral part of the four-room setup. After five years of functioning, we are now seeing the results of the investment in research in Europe that four-room has provided. As a very tangible part of that are the abstracts which are being presented at this uh, important meeting, the ULA Congress. One of the abstracts has been chosen as a top abstract and there are over 20 abstracts funded by Forum. They can be seen at the Forum booth and they are part of a special discussion. I think that the very high quality of these abstracts which were presented in a special session on Tuesday is a testament to the success of the investment that Forum has provided. Over the last five years, Forum has invested in getting on for 50 projects. These are of all types. They are research projects over three years. They are projects which have brought people together as pilot studies. They are investments in fellowships, early career development, and these are increasing in their scope year on year. The ULAR Congress is the highlight of many rheumatologists' year. It's also the highlight of Four Rooms Year because it gets all the rheumatologists together and allows us to disseminate the research that has been funded by Four Room. We also are funding bursaries to allow young rheumatologists to attend ULA, so there is a great synergy between the Congress and Four Room. Four Room is largely funded by donors, some of whom are from the pharmaceutical industry, and this is completely uh, detached from any commercial interest but I think the results of the research that have been obtained with the funding have been very satisfying gratifying for these companies and they see important questions being answered in a way which otherwise would not be available to them.